Good evening, world. Thanks for coming to check out HSPI. I'm Josh, and I'm reporting from the edit room, and these are my videos of when I went out to Minnesota to meet up with Ghost Stories Incorporated and investigate the Annie Wilder house. Because it's a day before Halloween, I thought it would be much more interesting to emphasize the story side of what happened to Annie in this house. So this episode is Annie recalling the scariest thing that ever happened to her in her house. I hope you enjoy it. All this right. is the kids' room. Yeah, this is the playroom. Can I Yes, yeah, thank you for asking. This room is weird because in the daytime it's sunny and cheerful and it's like a perfect room for a playroom, you know, mm -hmm. slope ceilings. Um, the weird thing about this room is most rooms have their own energy signature, most places or people. This room flips, like at night. It has a whole different energy, in my opinion. Well, it's above the portal house, it's down below too. That's a good point. So that if, is if a at, good point. At night, that's when activity starts again. Maybe yeah. that's why things switch because all of a sudden Grand Central yeah. Station opens up. Yeah, that's a good point. That's why I love yeah. having people over because it's like, why has that not occurred to me? Like, this room, I had some bad haunting stuff in. This room, yeah, I'll, I'll be interested to see just what you guys experienced tonight. Um, I don't let kids sleep in here. I always say that I have a bed, but it's just for daytime play. Adults can, but not kids. Do you mind telling us what maybe the worst okay. or scariest thing that you had happen in here? Sure. Um, when I was in this room, as my bedroom, there was a short period of time in the house when Leon wasn't here. And I had asked him to go to the light through a misunderstanding on my part. Um, and, and he really wasn't here. I mean, I couldn't feel him around anymore. It felt very empty. I felt bad like I had betrayed a friend. But I mean, it's not really bad to ask someone to go to the light. But as I, I like to point out, I don't think he was stuck here and needed help. Mm -hmm. I think he could come and go. And so when I asked him to leave, it was kind of like not being a good friend. He wasn't around and two things happened in this room. One, I woke up and I saw this oily, dark man that I just called Dark Man beside my bed, just kind of looking down at me like that. And I, he was referred to as an oily humanoid by a writer in a newspaper. And I'm like, that's, that's a great way to describe him. But he had like long black hair, real oily, oily skin. And his, he was wearing like a black duster coat that came down to about here, and it was oily too. It had the kind of iridescent sheen that gasoline on a mud puddle makes. So there was a one time in this house when I tried to scream when I saw a ghost. Mm -hmm. And I actually couldn't scream because I was too scared. And then shortly after that, I woke up and I was pinned down by something I couldn't see. And I have had sleep paralysis. I know what that is. It's uncomfortable, but it's not terrifying. It is bad to have sleep paralysis in a haunted house because you want <laughs> to be able to run, at least I do. But um, this was something else. I felt like something was on me. I felt like it was holding me down. And whatever it was, um, I, I prayed, I swore. I did Reiki because I am a Reiki. Um, I do Reiki healing too. I, I asked for my family spirits to help. I called on Leon, I mean anybody. And then at some point this thing lifted off. And I, I felt like it wasn't anything I did. And the experience was to show me that I did not have control in that situation. It had total control, which was super scary mm -hmm. and threatening and super annoying. And so after I could move, I sat up in bed, turned on my light and I just went like, like that behind me because I was so mad like it was still back there just like Burr! and sitting up in bed wide awake I felt a tongue go into my ear oh so that was the worst experience I had here and that's why no kids will ever sleep in this room that was back in 1997 so um, and I am superstitious enough that I'll just go like that that you know bad things can happen and it doesn't mean that relentless you know demonic haunting has begun.
Well, that's today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy early Halloween. I'll see you tomorrow for the release of our movie Head. Don't forget, drinking games is free for only this week. If you're watching this after Halloween week, I'm sorry you missed out, but it's still a great movie, so you should check it out. You're going to have to wait till next week in order to see the EVP session of what happened in that room while we were there. But trust me, it's worth waiting for. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.